Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Around the Table GTA. Uh, this was the second half of the intro. I wanted you guys to hear the whole thing, even though it's like one part, the other part, because if it was too long, some people would complain. People would complain, oh, your intro is too long. I just want to get to the episode. Well, sometimes I talk extra just to spite people <laughs> before I even get into the episode because they complain about that. But anyways, this episode is about enjoying your life it's about not living through people okay um i was at the mall last week while i was on vacation and i was talking to one dude he owns a store and yeah when i was like younger like a lot younger maybe like 10 years ago that's the first time i met this store person and uh, when i went to ghana when i was coming back i actually saw him at the airport it was really crazy so this is a little bit of backstory to the story that I'm telling. But I was there and, you know, there were some ladies talking, the store clerk was talking. And, you know, I was waiting to actually buy my stuff and go. But they're having an interesting conversation. And we were talking about culture and growing up in different places and how it changes you. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of uh, European countries and even African countries, when you're in grade four there, they're learning stuff that we here in Canada and like the US were learning stuff so far behind. If you're in grade four, you're doing like grade nine work potentially, right? Younger people are um told to do harder things and people really pride themselves on understanding. Um and they will put themselves in situations where they want to be the best. They want to be the top. Yes, that happens here, but not to the extent in uh, Africa or Europe, right? And I'm using the whole continent because it's just, yeah, these places, some places can be poor, like, you know, some parts of Eastern Europe or even like some parts of Africa, there are poor people or the living conditions. You're like, how can they live like this, right? But the amount of um, hard work they put into their studies, right? Because a lot of places there, at least I know in Africa, there's school fees, right? You have to pay your school fees to go to school. So if you're going to school, you're not wasting your time, right? Um, just knowing stuff like this, because I know some people who, uh, they were born like in Africa or Europe, and then they come over here and like they come to grade four and they're like, this is it. This is what you guys are learning. And they kind of get sucked in the system. And like, unfortunately, when I was that young, um, they would actually put you back a couple of grades because they just assumed people were stupid in um, younger or in other places like Africa or Europe. It's like, oh, well, you know, they don't get this and they don't get that. So they're probably dumb. So we're going to knock them back a grade or two. And it's pretty crazy. It's, and even some parts of Asia, it's pretty crazy. But um, that's the dynamic. But where am I going with this? Basically, I was talking about... Um, just or I I, inter <laughs> I interrupted and then you know I was talking about uh, going abroad and how it opened my eyes like uh, for example when I went to Japan like I fully realized that there is a market for everything if you go to Japan you will see some random services that you're like no way people are making money off this and they are like uh, the weirdest one of the weirdest things was the maid cafe but I think the weirdest for me was when we were at the arcade and they actually had some service where you could rent a girlfriend and the girl would just be there cheering on you while you're playing video games if you think i'm making that up you can search that online it was a real thing and it completely blew my mind that someone would pay that to the point where i think they had like a station upstairs because so many people would pay for that kind of interaction right and then like when i went to ghana again you know it made me realize that we do have a lot more time than we think but at the same time over here we don't value our time right we're rushing to do a b c d e f g right but over there at times things take forever when it comes to going to the bank the bank is a day trip can you guys imagine waiting the whole day to go to the fucking bank no way right like it's it's a it's a big cheesy you're you're not gonna let that happen you're not gonna let it slide because it's just like 
I need to get out and do the rest of the things that I need to do, right? But after being there for almost three weeks, I was just like, why am I rushing anything, right? You make the time for the things that you really care about. And when you're in a place where things are so slow, it forces you to do more things to an extent, especially if you're somewhere where it's very fast paced. And you just kind of think to yourself, why am I living somewhere where everybody's pushing a fast paced lifestyle when we don't need to live there, to live like that, or even live there, <laughs> right? Seriously, like uh, Canada's getting pretty ridiculous. And, you know, I don't know, man. Um, anyways, that's a uh, episode for another day. But either way, why am I talking about this? Why am I talking about this? Because... I was talking to a lady there and she was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm just going to like she had a kid or whatever. And she was like, oh, I'm just going to live my life through her. And I was just like, are you dumb? You will never get the experience that life or how your kid lives. If your kid gets rich, you'll have like the crumbs of it. But it's not truly your experience. You have to go out there and you have to experience it yourself. If you want to travel, I don't care how young your kid is, go and travel because traveling by yourself versus traveling with your friends versus traveling with your kid is completely different. You cannot live your life through people. And a lot of people, unfortunately, have felt the pressures from their parents because they regretted a lot of things that they couldn't do and they want to live through you. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to your future kids. Don't do that to your family. You have to experience life on your own. We're all on our own journey. Um, you know, we have friends, family, uh, partners, etc. And they're all part of this experience of life that we go through. And we have to live through our own lens, right? Um, there's a story that I tell people all the time where, like, I had a friend who, when we were in high school, they... We're just saying like, oh, I'm never going to do this because this. I'm never going to do this because this. I'm never going to do this because of this. And I'm like, so you're not going to live your life because certain people that you care about in your life did something and completely destroyed themselves. So you're not even going to try it even if you're interested. If everyone experiences everything and you don't, that's, that's you're just going to live your life like that. You're never going to drive because a friend of yours got in a brutal car accident. You're never going to fly a plane because uh, something happened on September 11th. You're never going to go swimming because, you know, um, Steve Irwin got stung by a stingray. You can't live your life like that. You can't have that lens. You can't let that block you. And even if you do go through a horrible experience, like some of you guys, like I think some of you guys said um, this year was like the, a very bad year for you. It was a great year for me, but it was a bad year for you guys. Uh, and I'm sorry about that. But are you going to just stop living because you had a bad year? Of course not. You know, life is like a wave. You know, <laughs> there's so many life analogies that are so lame. So I'm not going to have those whole lame attitude for all of that but this is supposed to be an episode that's supposed to lift you guys up and like honestly there's a lot of life to live you know um and despite um sudden adult death syndrome despite uh c19 uh despite cancer despite asthma uh despite diabetes despite all the crazy things that's happening in your life you're still here and you know you could be thankful for it. You might still have like a horrible life, but someone wants to live the life that you're living right now. They they give it up. They like they they destroy a lot of things to get to where you are. So you got to stop. Maybe slow down your life. You know, you guys could check out that episode. Um, you know about slowing down, uh, season one episode. But overall, there's so much that you can do, and it's never kind of too late to do something new right um i'm in the process of thinking about doing something new right uh i'm not a big like i'm a big horoscope person but i'm not a big horoscope person you know and then someone's talking to me about my side and i was just thinking i'm like when's the last time i've done like something crazy spontaneous 
and I've done some like spontaneous stuff recently, but it hasn't been that crazy. Like uh, I have a friend that I share a bunch of stories with, and I'm like running out of stories, and I'm like the stories guy. Like literally, my IG is Tales Adventures, and I haven't been going on many adventures recently, and slightly because obviously adult life, uh, management life, um, helping run a store life responsibilities that are not necessarily helping me enjoy life as much as I could be right but at the same time it's like you know what maybe it's time for a change as well right we have to live through ourselves you know I was talking about uh, going to resort for my holidays because I had like two weeks off and unfortunately everywhere that I wanted to fly out was it was all rainy, right? I, I don't want to fly out and, like, stay inside and just be in nice weather, but I can't go to the beach. I've actually never gone on, like, a resort or, like, a vacation where I just relax. I'm always trying to do something. But, um, yeah, you know, sometimes you need to switch up things. Like, I, I want to go away for, like, a week and do nothing and have my phone on airplane mode like <laughs> uh people are bugging me so much on my vacation that i just turned off my phone and like i actually cussed out some people because i'm like i'm on vacation don't call me you're calling me from work you're calling me for this you're calling me for that it's just like i'm not about it and i'm not gonna do it so <laughs> don't talk to me but sometimes you need that in your life you know you have to live for yourself and stop living through people and stop letting people live through you you have the blueprint to your life, whether you realize it or not. Some people realize it a lot older. Um, that's why, you know, some people are very successful when they're older. Like, uh, it's, uh, I think it was Samuel Jackson. He didn't have his breakout role till he was like 40 or 50. But he was acting that whole time, right? He found the blueprint for his life and he went through with that, you know? Um, the same thing with Morgan Freeman. He found more fame later in life right some people they find the blueprint to their life when at an earlier age especially in the electronic age that we're in where you could learn everything on youtube or some type of video site on the internet you know um you can watch people do stuff i like the cooking videos as much as i'm not doing what they're doing uh, i need to start hopping on that because i definitely want to cook more. i, I love food but, uh, you know, the cooking videos where it shows you all the stuff that you need and they're doing it live, right? We didn't have that uh, earlier in life, right? Just because of uh, different complications. Like uh, in the podcast episode, the guest podcast episode that you guys are going to hear uh, in a couple of weeks from now, it's, it's pretty long. It's about an hour and a bit. Uh, it's only part one of that podcast. So a uh, part two is going to happen eventually. But basically... Um, you know, when it came to information, sometimes you have to go to the library, especially like I was talking, we were talking about stuff. I don't want to ruin the whole episode, but you know, there's, it was limited resources. So without spoiling everything, there's limited resources to get everything. And now we have so many limited resources or not limited, but so many different resources where, you know, if you're banned off YouTube, you could go on to different sites as BitChute, banned video, blah, blah, blah. If you're searching for something. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, you could find it on the internet if you look hard enough, right? So what's stopping you from living your life? What's stopping you from changing up how the end of this year changes and starting your 2023 or your new year or wherever you're hearing this from, whenever you're hearing this, to something that is a future for you? Um Recently, I saw this video where this guy was talking about how he's been lucky enough to talk to three billionaires in his life. And he said that one of them said something where it's just like, if you don't have everything that you want, this is summarizing it, then you don't deserve it, especially in a Western world or the Western side of the world. I can believe that. You need to put your time and your energy into what you want, right? Not what your mom wants, not what your dad wants, not what your family wants, what you want. And you have to make that blueprint to get to where you want to go. 
the future is yours. And as much as other people are trying to dictate things for you, whether it's your partner, whether it's your parents, whether it's your work, you can find st- time to stabilize certain stuff and then go out there and get what you need to do. If you have to move back in with your parents so you pay less rent, if it's possible for you, you know, if you have to live on the streets or even like jump on a shelter, right? Um, My favorite line on um, one of Lupe's albums, Lupe Fiasco, awesome artist, he's like, uh, artists make McNuggets at night, right? And what I think that means is that if you're an artist, especially if you know anyone who's in art, who's in music, if you're not popping, if you're not getting venues, if you're not selling your art, you are not making money, right? And having a job like, let's say like McDonald's or Burger King, a job where you have flexible hours or putting in so much work that you have your first job, your second job, and then you're also working overnight, aka making McNuggets at night, you know, you're putting your all so that you could create your own avenue of income and how you want to live your life. So hopefully this guy's uh, this episode inspired you guys to get up and go do something like that video pushed me like I earlier made an excuse that oh I didn't know what date it was so I'm not gonna do an episode no I stopped and I'm like okay guys I'm gonna make an episode because it's Wednesday and that's when the episodes come out I have to be better so that you guys could also be better if you're using this as a motivation so hopefully you guys have a great day take care and I'll catch you guys next time